when I was 15, my mom died of... But that was just the beginning of the drama in Eva Benefield's life. Just nine months after losing her mother, her father, Doug, would remarry a young ballerina named Ashley. But four years later, Ashley shot and killed Doug, claiming self-defense. That's right. And next week marks two years since the aptly named Black Swan murder occurred. And in that time, Eva has gone viral on TikTok, sharing her story that has absolutely captivated the country. I sat down with her exclusively to hear how she's overcoming the tragedy. So that was the start of a lot of trauma. You've taken a TikTok to share parts of your story. At first, I just, I used dark humor to, to cope, I guess. And I made one TikTok that went crazy viral. And within two weeks, I had 100,000 followers. And people reach out all of the time and tell me their story. And so I figured, you know, if this is the new reality and I can help someone in some way, I'm going to. Eva's life was turned upside down, not once, but twice. First, she lost her mother in 2018 to an underlying heart condition. And while still mourning the loss of her mother, her father announces he has not only a new girlfriend, but a new wife. And from there, nothing was ever the same for Eva. I overheard a, a conference call and they said, Doug, is your girlfriend gonna be at the mountain weekend? And I said, oh, so you have a girlfriend now. And I accepted that. And then two days later, he told me that they were actually married. Ashley, a ballerina and swimsuit model, was only seven years older than Eva. And her dad also announced he was going to start a ballet company with her. What did you think about this idea? I was still dealing with my mom, grieving her. I was trying to balance my social life, my school life. I mean, all of this was happening at once. So I kind of just said, okay. But then another surprise, Ashley became pregnant. He was really excited and I tried to be happy for him because that was something that he wanted. That was just another thing added to the list of things I was trying to process. But out of nowhere, the day of the ballet studio's opening, Ashley unexpectedly left town for Florida. I found out that there was these crazy, twisted, dark, evil allegations against him and it, it broke my heart for him. Ashley claimed Doug was poisoning her, but a judge looked at the case and ruled there wasn't a single ounce of credible evidence. Despite Ashley's accusation, Doug moved to Florida to try and fix things. He was heartbroken because he thought, and in his mind, him and Ashley were doing great and he was gonna have a happy family for this baby. That's all he wanted, um, but Ashley had other plans. Eva received a call. Her father had been shot. What were the first words out of your mouth? She did, it was Ashley. She killed him, didn't she? Ashley claims they got into an argument and she shot Doug in self-defense. Prosecutors and Eva believe otherwise. So you're 19, you've lost both of your parents. I mean, what did you do next? After that, it was, okay, rent's due in three days. I have, I have no money saved at all. I didn't really process for a while. I kept picking up the phone to call him. I'd just be like, oh, can't do that anymore. Um, but I was just shocked and I was mostly just more concerned about how I was gonna get my life together. What are you feeling leading up to the trial? How do you feel about seeing Ashley in person? I have very high hopes for the trial. I think that what she deserves, she will get. I just wanna sit down and ask her, you know, you knew that I didn't have a mother and now you're taking away your child's father and my only living parent. Why, you know, why, what makes you think you can, that's okay. And Eva told me she is ready for Ashley's trial to begin. She remains free on bond with her trial scheduled for some time next year. But in the meantime, Eva has started her own clothing company. Oh. It's called Ghost Cowboy, and she gave me this really adorable sweatshirt so you can order online. Good for her. Yeah, yeah. Nice that she's uh, making the most exactly. out of a terrible situation. Absolutely. Yeah.